Hi, what's up guys? This is Anna Fan from Take Chaplay. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Today this video is about Google Keyboard for Android or Gboard for Android. So let's get started by installing it. I don't really want to show this because everyone know how to do that. So quick, I made it so quick. Go to Play Store and search for Gboard and then install it onto your phone, okay? So after installing the Gboard for Android on a Samsung phone or what other, other Android phones, mostly you already have a keyboard for Android phone already. So you, what you need to do is just go into settings which is, uh, and make the Gboard as a default keyboard for your phone. Okay, so now we're going to go into language and input setting and then D4 keyboard here guys. If you tap on this, and this phone has Samsung keyboard as well, but I prefer using a uh, Gboard because uh, it's better with some of the features that I like and I'm about to show you now. Okay, so after putting the D4 keyboard settings set it as a, a Gboard for Android what you need to do is just um, let's see walk you through here with the some setting on the Gboard itself okay after installing you will see the Gboard app appear on your list of app here on your phone and of course this is the setting dashboard there's a, a few notice here that I would like to tell you is the uh, team okay you want to set up for the team just go here you already see me uh, that I already choose it this one as my team okay actually you have more than that you can tap on this show more button and you can have options for more colors here it is guys um, furthermore you know you can download some of the landscapes you know just like images picture really nice one if you really uh, wants to download it just download it and set it up as your theme on the Google keyboard so that's it um, so now we're gonna go and see some of the features and how to use that on the keyboard so now guys I want to show you some of the nice options and features on the Gboard for Android so let's get started by you know typing with uh, messages with my friend okay so uh, let's see we want to see my cat here I know it's not my cat it's my friend's cats okay that's so cute right so here is the Gboard for Android you see that I love the team because it's a neat you know it look nice it look in a good shape of every letters okay so here it is some of the features that I love uh, for example glide typing you see I want to type awesome but I don't really want uh, I don't really type it awesome by what uh, letter by letter and also don't type it don't glide typing it uh, in a correct way but it still suggest me with the right word okay that's really awesome so it's faster with the glide typing and what else the voice typing if you want to activate the voice typing just take a look at the top corner right corner you have a voice button you tap on that and then you I ask you to speak the words and you, it types the words for you so you just hit the send button after that if you're in the cold weather, you just don't want to type, you can use the voice typing. Uh, what other thing else that is very nice thing, that is emojis. So now I'm going to tap on this emojis here. And here is in the Jeep already, I'll show you the emojis first. Okay, here the list of the emojis look nice guys you can choose that from here some options and that's it 
Um, talking about the emojis, I want to show you something that's really nice with this Google keyboard for Android. So first of all, when I type uh, cat, you see, that has an option of cat, the word cat or the emojis of the cat itself. So as as long as it's up here on the list of the emojis here, if you type the right quote for that emojis, and that's a very trick uh, tips to do that. If you want to type a cat, you know, so fast like that, and you see the cat is appearing here and you send it to your friend. Look nice. So for example, let me make another typing for you to understand this how this works. Okay. Uh, for example, I, I type it a cow. So it's have a me of option of the cow word and the cow as the emojis. And I just send it to my friend. Awesome. Okay, that is the emojis typing and searching how to do that so now I'm gonna show you one more for that is the stickers there's a lot of a bunch of stickers here as you see and you can add more from here you see you can add more by typing uh, tapping on this button and you get stickers you can have more stickers from here you can install this those stickers on this keyboard and then you can use it when typing with your friends. That sticker, guys, it's a little bit like animated bigger emojis. That's what I can say. So uh, now we're gonna go into the Jeep search for and uh, for for keyboard for Android. Here it is. I've recently used this one. <laughs> that was the time of chatting with my friend, I guess. So you can tap on this or scroll it to the left like this to find the stickers other the the gifs but let me tell you it's quite like take a time take time to type it like this uh, to to scroll it and find the emotions that you want to ex express through your gif and it's better to use the gif search here whatever you can um, enter a word here yeah, you see, happy, happy birthday, or whatsoever. You can search it. You see, and that's how you search. Uh, you search for these jeeps, okay? You see, or crying, whatsoever. That's crying. That's how you make it, you know, faster, as you don't have to scroll down from here. So that's it guys, thanks so much for watching this video, I'm Anne Fan from Take Chablay and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos later on, goodbye for now.